guys, it's Kersana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am the owner and creator of Bella Renovare by Kersana. And today I have something super exciting to try to share with you. So I have been really into faux finishes lately. And so, you know, I was looking at a pair of my jeans. Let me show you. I was looking at a pair of my jeans and I was like, that would look so cool. And I've tried this before on a wall and it didn't really come out like I wanted to, but I didn't really take my time. So I kind of tested it on a little charger plate and as you can see it's got a denim look I used some bronze on here so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do it on this piece of French provincial furniture so I have stripped the top down okay because I want to keep it a lighter wood and then um, let me back up a little bit so this is cute it's just a small it matches this is my husband's over here the tall one I'm in my bedroom by the way um, and then this is mine so it's a little six drawer I took the hardware off, I've cleaned it. There's a little tiny metal piece right here that we've taken off. And so we are going to do a faux denim finish on this. But I wanna tell you guys a couple things that you're gonna need. So this is key to try to get this denim kind of weaved look. I bought this on Amazon. This is a um, Zinser, it's a, it's a, um, a wallpaper paste brush so you could get something like this if you can hear it it's like it's plastic okay you got a difference like this is a paintbrush and it's soft and then this is plastic so you could you know go to the store and get like one of those handheld little you know hand brooms you could use that you could get one of the like um straw brooms you could go grab this hopefully it's at the hardware i got it on amazon because you guys know i'm out here in Germany. So I got on Amazon. So I'll put a link to this particular one. And so I did use this and I'll show you when just to kind of get a little bit more texture because we're not going to use any kind of texture additives on this finish, but we're going to have texture on it by just using paint and using this as a texture thing. So that is key. That's one thing that you're going to need, whether you use the one that I just showed you, or you go to the store and get one of those options that I said, I also have some shop towels. <laughs> A whole roll. I have some cheapo chip brushes which you're gonna need at the very end. I really really like cheapo chip brushes for dry brushing because they're not as um, so kind of show you you know this is a normal paintbrush and you've got it and it's it fills all those areas where the cheap chip brush it's kind of got you know what I mean space so I like that for dry brushing because it makes it a little bit more sporadic. Also I have my Dixie Bell brushes we'll be using the oval medium like always, and my mini, mini angle. And then the colors we're gonna be using, we're gonna have Dixie Belle Cotton, and then we have Dixie Belle's In the Navy, which is a dark, dark blue. I have Dusty Blue, which is gonna be for some of those areas that we wanna lighten up. And then Bunker Hill Blue, okay? Um, I do have Yankee Blue, but I don't think we're gonna use it, but just in case. Um, so just pay attention to the video. If I don't use it, then I won't put it in the description below. But um, sometimes when I get going, I'm not really sure which colors I'm gonna use. And then I also want to use the bronze gilding wax because I like this look right here. So do you see the stitching, how it's kind of like a bronze? So that's why I use the bronze gilding wax to kind of bring in like the stitching of the piece together. So what I'm gonna do first is, we've, I've already cleaned this, it's already prepped. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna lay down a base coat. Okay, everybody. So I'm gonna show you the first steps that you're gonna wanna do. So when you are doing this faux denim finish, you are gonna want a lighter color underneath, okay? So I'm gonna use cotton underneath. It doesn't have to be, now if it's a darker piece, like this is a lighter piece. So my coat of cotton doesn't have to be totally, um, it doesn't have to completely cover this. It's just so that this lighter color can show underneath and give you that denim look. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is put a lighter color underneath, whether that's cotton or fluff or um, like a drop cloth. You wanna stick with the whites, okay? So I'm gonna do just one coat under this and we're gonna assess it and see what it looks like. But this is the very first step of this entire process is doing the lighter coat on your entire piece first before you move on to the next section. Okay guys, so I have laid down the base coat of the lighter color. This was cotton. 
this is all I'm going to need. I don't need a bunch because we're going to be layering paint. Okay. So I'm going to allow this to dry and then we are going to move on to our next step, which is going to be putting Bunker Hill blue over top of this, but we need to make sure that this is fully dry. So we are going to let this dry and then we'll come back and do our coat of Bunker Hill blue on top of this one. Now that this cotton is dry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with the Bunker Hill blue. I'm going to do my first coat of Bunker Hill blue, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And then we'll decide if we need a second coat. Okay guys, so I did my first coat of Bunker Hill Blue. There were a couple spots where it reactivated the white, which is not a problem at all. We don't care about that um, because it just gives us a little bit more dimension. So now what I'm gonna do is kind of try to smooth this finish just a little bit. So um, like this area pulled a little bit of white, that's totally fine. So I'm gonna go over it horizontally, okay? Kind of smooth it out just a little bit. Remember, we're adding texture with the paint. Now I'm gonna go over it vertically. Normally in most circumstances, we don't wanna overwork the paint, but for this, it really doesn't matter. We wanna get texture. Now, I'm gonna take this little guy right here that I had talked to you guys about before. I got it from Amazon, but you can get it from your local hardware store. I'm gonna go over this and we're gonna expose a little bit of that white that's underneath. So we're gonna go vertical. And as you guys can see, it looks like linen. Let's get a little bit closer. So it looks like the fabric on your um, jeans. So we're gonna go over it vertically. And this is the same process with the entire piece. So vertical. I'm just showing you on the side a little bit more because it's flat, it's a little bit easier. But you wanna go and start at one stop, one part, like start up here and go down. You don't wanna stop in the middle. Now we're going to do some horizontal. So I'm going to go from here to here. Okay. So we're going to go horizontal, kind of butt up against the next one that you did. Horizontal. And you want to kind of get it as straight as you can, but it's not perfect. It's okay. Okay. Now I'm going to try to go over it one more time, vertical. You can work it as much as you want. You're gonna to wanna to do this lightly, guys. You don't wanna do this super heavy-handed. We got your vertical. And then that's gonna give us our jean look. If you like the way this looks, keep it like this. If you want it to be more horizontal, I mean, you can still keep working it as much as you want. This is gonna give you those fabric looking lines, okay? So this is what's gonna give you that look like it's jeans. Hopefully you can see that. Once it's dry, it'll look a little bit better because you can, you're getting all the glare and stuff. I'm gonna go over it one more time vertically. Again, just with the light hand, don't mash on it. And I'm not concerned about, you know, this coming out or this coming out because we're gonna, it's kind of like a faded pair of jeans. So it just adds character. So this is the side and we're gonna start working on the front. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I did a little bit of this shading right here. And you can see the light on the top of this drawer. I'm going to go through after I'm completely done and I'm going to fix any areas. I'll pull the drawers out and fix the top of this and all these areas. So I generally like to do faux finishes like this with everything in so that it's all cohesive as well as the blending. But then later on what I'll do is I'll go through, pull them out and fix all those other areas. So I've got a screwdriver. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out, okay? And I'm just gonna take this right here in the navy, and I'm not gonna put water on it, I'm just gonna take my paint that's in the, the lid, and I'm just gonna wipe it across the bottom, just for some shading. Go over here in this area for a little bit of shading. Again, these are blue jeans, so this finish is not one of those, again, super crisp, 
has to be perfect finishes. So I'm going down here. You can go down a little bit if you want. And then I'm going to take my Bunker Hill Blue, dab it a little bit, and start from the top and go into it. Go vertical. And then that is going to help blend it a little bit better. And you don't even need water. So I'm going to go vertical, kind of go up here, butt up right against that. And this is what I call dry blending, even though you have it with paint. This is not... You don't use any water with this. So I'm going to kind of go right here and we're just going to go vertical, horizontal, and that will blend your paint really nicely. So go over here, horizontal, vertical. It's going to give you a shaded look and then it's going to be nice and blended just like the bottom right here. And then I'm going to continue to do this on the entire piece. Um, I'm going to probably do it I want to do it like right here, just out of a darker area. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to take my Bunker Hill Blue and just kind of mess around and get it in there. So it's darker, but it mix messes or it meshes together. If you want somewhere that's a little bit lighter, you can take, I was taking the Dusty Blue and I'm going to take just a little tiny bit, just a dab guys, just a little dab. I'm gonna use my chip brush. I'm gonna go right here with it, okay? Kind of rub it like that. I'm gonna take my, in the navy, go around it. I'm gonna take my Bunker Hill Blue. Go over it. Take my Dusty Blue again, in circles. Vertical, horizontal, and you can keep on repeating that if you want a lighter area. So if you want it more light, you can do right here. You can do it lighter, do vertical, horizontal, lighter. And that is a lighter area, like if your blue jeans were faded a little bit. So then you've got that lighter section and so then once it dries, it'll all kind of blend together. A lot of this is wet and dry, so it looks a little bit weird on the camera, but this is how you would do it. You can go down like this, go all the way across, and this will give you that faded look where some places are darker and some places are lighter. And I'm going to do this on the entire piece. Okay, everybody. So I've done my shading on this piece. It's not completely dry, but I want to show you the last part. So this is very important. You're going to want your chip brushes and you're going to want your white, okay? And then you're going to take your little brush thing. It doesn't matter. You don't need to clean it off. And what you're going to do is you're going to take, we just use this chip brush from the other one. And I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on here, okay? I'm going to spread it around. And I'm going to take another paper towel, sorry, spread it around, and I'm gonna dab this in here so that's a little bit. And then I'm gonna dab it off, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it up here and I am going to go across this piece with it. There's not a lot, but just enough. Dab it again, dab. across this piece okay we're going horizontal and then now I'm gonna go at the bottom start over here okay now I'm gonna go vertical I'm gonna go down with it start at the top and go down Start at the top and work my way down. Start at the top and work my way down. Okay, and you can keep on going over it. You can just go over the drawer fronts back and forth if you want. Don't worry about having too much white because I'm going to show you how to fix that. So I'm just working on this section right now. Okay, so let's go 
horizontal. Okay, now this next part is really important. You wanna make sure that you have, you go like this and you want it on your lid. You want your chip brush and you're gonna do just a little tiny bit. You're gonna dab it. And this is how you're gonna get rid of some of the white that you don't want. So you're just gonna lightly go over it and it's gonna get rid of some of that white. So you're going down. So that's gonna help get rid of that white so that it's not so prominent. So I say don't really too worry too much about the white and you're just dry brushing, okay? And this one is the in the navy. So I'm just dry brushing the in the navy across this piece. I'm gonna go ever which way. If you like the white, you can keep it, but I want to tone it down just a little bit. So I don't want the white streaks to take over the piece. So some of the raised areas you know, like right here, it gets a little bit too much white. I'm gonna go over it. Uh, there's a spider right there. It's a big spider. Okay. So then go down. And like I told you before, this finish is not perfect. So you can't really be crazy OCD with really any of the faux finishes. You can't really be OCD with them. Okay, and so now what I'm gonna do is take my Bunker Hill Blue and do the same exact thing, but we're just adding another blue. We're just adding a little bit more dimension. So that way it's not just that other blue color. So you can go down with it. Go across. And if you want little tiny sections of light color, you can take this white, if you want a little bit more white, and you can take your other chip brush and you can just kind of go over it like this with your chip brush. And this is how you kind of control how much light and dark there is. So again, you can go over a little bit or you can go over a lot. I wanna show you one last thing before, um, we let it dry and put the gilding wax on. But let's say that you have a part right here where it's a little bit too dark. You can always take your chip brush and kind of blend that area and get that line out of there. Same with over here. If you've got areas that are, are still wet, you can do kind of like a dry blend where you take your chip brush and kind of blend that in. So then they're not lines, but they're, they still become like a shade, like a blending. So you can always do that with your paint that is still a little bit wet. So like right here, to make it a smoother transition so it doesn't just stop, you can kind of do like a light little blend right here. And up here, you always take your chip brush and kind of just blend it a little bit, do it in circles. And then it kind of helps smooth it a little bit and it gives it more dimension so it looks even more like jeans. Okay guys, so this is what we have here. This is our final product, which I will be waxing tonight on Dixie Bell's Facebook page. But I did the hardware with the redesigned by Prima decor wax in Element. And then I also took the bronze gilding wax and put it around the edges. So this is what you can expect with your final look. And the rest of the information with the hardware and stuff is in which I will put in the description. Thanks again so much for watching and I hope that this helped you to find out how to make a faux denim finish. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Everything that I use in the video will be in the description below. These are affiliate links, but they do not cost you anything to use and they just help support me. So thank you so much and I hope you guys have an awesome day.